Hello everyone. I hope you're doing well wherever you're at. Um, this will be the first of uh, periodic videos that I will uh, post um, online for you guys. Um, usually one or two per section. So uh, this video we will uh, be looking at section 7.1 exponential functions and uh, we will primarily look at kind of basics of graphs for these types of functions and then solving a few uh, simple equations. Um, so first a an exponential function will be one uh, of this form, a times b to the x. They're called exponential functions because the uh, variable x is an exponent. Um, let's look at a couple very simple examples and graph them. Okay. So uh, let's first look at f of x is 2 to the x. So if you're looking at the a and the b uh, here, you can be thinking the a is 1 and the b is 2 for this function. Whatever is taken to the x power, that's the b. Okay. All right, let's make a quick table of values for f of, and f of x. Um, we'll start at 0. 2 to the 0 is 1. 2 to the 1 is 2. 2 squared is 4. 2 cubed is 8, uh, etc. So let's do a little bit of graphing there. Um, notice the y values do increase rather quickly. Okay. So uh, 0, 1 is here. 1, 2 is about here. 2, 4, and 3, 8. Okay. Um, and let's also do some negative values. Okay, so negative 1. Uh, now recall, negative exponents mean take the reciprocal, so 2 to the negative 1 is going to be uh, 1 half. Okay. 2 to the negative 2 is going to be 1 over 2 squared is 1 fourth. So for negative x's, it's going to be hard to graph here on this scale, but you're getting very small fractions. Okay. So I'm being a bit artistically challenged here. But generally, you get this type of a shape. Okay. Um, and uh, other exponential functions um, with the b value bigger than 1 will have this same shape. Okay, So we'll get this same general shape for uh, b bigger than 1, or bigger than uh, 1. Sorry about that. Let's erase that. There's the eraser. B bigger than 1. Okay. Um, all right. And I guess one other term here. Um, the graph on this side is hugging the x-axis. It never actually touches the x-axis, but it gets closer and closer to it. So we say that the x-axis is a horizontal asymptote. for the graph. Okay. Asymptote just means a line that the graph gets closer and closer to. Okay. All right, now let's, um, the other type of shape that you might get, uh, let's do this example. Let's say f of x is 1 half to the x. Okay. So in this case, the a value is 1, the b value is 1 half, okay. and 
Uh, let's just quickly write down a few values here. We'll start with negatives and go up to the positives. Okay. Um, so 1 half to the negative 2. Again, we take the reciprocal for negative exponents. So that's 2 squared is 4. 1 half to the negative 1. Take the reciprocal. You get 2 to the first is 2. 1 half to the 0 is going to be 1. 1 half to the 1 is going to be 1 half. 1 half squared is going to be 1 fourth. Okay. Now notice these are the same values as the last graph, um, but just kind of flipped around so that we're getting the larger values for negative x's. Okay. So we didn't do as many here, but uh, so negative 2, 4, negative 1, 2, 0, 1, 1, 1 half, 2, 1 fourth. This graph looks something like this. Okay. And uh, so you can kind of say, say, see it's the same shape, only sort of flipped around right to left compared to the previous one. Okay. Um, so generally speaking, um, exponential functions with b between 0 and 1 uh, will have this shape. All right. Now, when you're doing these in Hawks, again, it'll be kind of multiple choice. Um, they'll give you a function and have you pick out the graph. Uh, you can certainly go by the b value. It'll tell you which way the function is going. Is it, is it like this one? where it's decreasing uh, as you go right to left, or this one which is increasing as you go, I'm sorry, left to right. Okay, So b bigger than 1 is increasing, b less than 1 is decreasing. And then don't be afraid to go ahead and make your own little table of values uh, just to confirm uh, which uh, function you're picking. All right, so that's a little bit about graphs. Um, now let's uh, go to some uh, basic equations. Okay, and um, exponential equations are ones in which the variable is an exponent. Okay, so as a simple example, let's say you have two to the x is equal to 8. Okay. And for a lot of these, you might just be able to guess at the answer and, and check it. Um, the answer here will be 3. Okay. Uh, another way to see that is uh, at least for the equations in this section, you should be able to write both sides of the equation using the same base, uh, but possibly the different powers. Okay, So 2, 8 is equal to 2 to the third. Okay. So if you have the same base on both sides, um, that means the exponents are going to have to be equal. So x has got to be equal to 3. Okay. And pretty much all the equations in this section, uh, you'll be able to do that way. Okay, let's do another one. Let's say you want to solve 4 to the x is equal to 8. Okay. Let's... Um, 4 is a power of 2, 8 is a power of 2. Let's write everything as powers of 2. 4 is 2 squared. So 4 to the x is 2 squared to the x. 8 is 2 cubed. Okay. So that means 2 to the 2x is equal to 2 to the third. All right, I got the same base. Therefore, same base of 2. Therefore, exponents are equal. And we're going to get that 2x is equal to 3, which means x is to 3 half. x is 3 over 2. Okay. All right. And just like with any equation, uh, if you want to, and even using a calculator, go ahead and take this value, put it back into the original 
equation and see if it works. Okay. All right, let's do one more example. Um, let's say you've got a um, 100 to the x minus 1 is equal to 1,000 to the x. All right. Can we write both sides using the same base? Okay. Well, 100 would be 10 squared. So the left side is 10 squared to the x minus 1. 1,000 is equal to 10 to the third. Okay. All right. Then use your property of exponents, multiply the exponents. So this is the same as 10 to the 2x minus 2, take 2 times the x minus 1. And here I've got 10 to the 3x. Now, bases are equal, so the exponents should be equal. 2x minus 2 will have to be equal to 3x, setting the exponents equal. And now just solve this for x. And I guess the easiest thing to do here is subtract um, the 2x from both sides. We get a negative 2 is equal to 1x, and that's our answer. Okay. Uh, now, in subsequent sections, we'll learn how to solve more complicated equations, but for now, um, all the equations in this section you should be able to solve by um, reducing both sides to a pow uh, base to a power uh, where the base is the same on both sides. All right, um, I'll try to keep these videos to 5 to 15 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes, somewhere in that range. Um, and uh, I'll uh, be posting more videos in uh, a short while.